Hey guys, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today we're gonna to take some time and show you guys the Traveler 4 Bike Carrier from Hollywood Racks. And this is gonna be a four bike hanging style rack. This is gonna allow you to get up to four bikes loaded so you can get them to and from your destination. This is gonna come in handy for when you wanna take the family out to the trails, maybe even just a couple buddies, but you don't wanna take multiple vehicles. You can all pile in, get your bikes loaded on the outside, and then hit the road. Now another great feature about this rack is that if we want to gain access to the trunk, we can do so by tilting it away when the bike rack is empty. All we got to do is come down here and remove this pin and clip. This pin is just going to be able to hang on the cable right there so you can let it go. From there we can just tilt away our bike rack and then gain access to the trunk. You can see there's plenty of clearance between the hatch of our vehicle and the bike. You should have no problems no matter what your vehicle is. And it gives us plenty of space to be able to lean in, grab whatever we might need out of our trunk. When you're all done, close your trunk. And all we gotta do is reverse the process. Bring the center mast back up and then replace that pin and clip. Now with this hanging style bike rack, it's gonna hold each of your bikes by its top tube. You can see we're going to have two straps on our top tube per bike, securing them into the cradles. You can see there is a good amount of frame contact up here. Now, if that's something that bothers you, then something I would suggest is to look into a couple of platform racks. But one thing you want to keep in mind is that with platform style racks, you are going to spend a little bit more money. Now, with all that being said, there are some advantages to having a hanging style bike rack over a platform style. One of them is going to be ground clearance. With a platform style rack, it's gonna sit under our bikes. It's gonna sit closer to the ground. Whereas with our hanging style rack, you can see it gets our bikes up and further from the ground. So if you have a steep driveway you have to go up all the time and you run the risk of bottoming out with a platform rack, with a hanging style rack, it's not gonna be as big of an issue. Another advantage is that it's not gonna take up as much space as a platform rack. When it comes to four bike platform racks, they're gonna to extend to probably at least a foot farther out than what our hanging style rack is right now. So our bikes are sitting closer together, taking up much less space. So for any close quarter situations, you're gonna have a much easier time maneuvering. Now, like we talked about, you can see we have two rubber straps on our top two. It's gonna, the rubber is gonna help make sure it doesn't harm or scratch the finish of our bike. But we're also gonna have a third point of contact and that's gonna be our anti-sway cradle and the same rubber strap. It's going to wrap around our seat post tube and secure it into the cradle. That's just gonna help take away the swaying of our bikes so it prevents them from swinging back and forth and hitting each other pretty hard. And for that bike that sits up front of the rack, it's gonna help prevent that one from making contact with our vehicle. Now with this bike rack, you are gonna be able to get a wide variety of bikes loaded. You can see we've got a couple road bikes, a mountain bike, even a kid's bike back here. But one thing I wanna point out is if we come in closer, we can see we have a bike adapter bar on our kid's bike. And that's just because the frame is pretty small and we can't fit our two dual arms in the little slot right here. So with kid's bikes, bikes with alternative frame styles, maybe even women's bikes, you are gonna probably wanna pick up a bike adapter bar so you can get it secured on the rack. On the back side, you can see we have a welded on tie down point. This is, does come with a safety strap, which right now we're using just to wrap around the frames of our bikes and better secure them. But you could also use this as a tie down point for a cable lock. They are sold separately here at eTrailer. You can get one of those, wrap it around your bikes and then through the point right here. And that'll just provide better security for your bikes. Now with three points of contact per bike and that safety strap, this bike rack does a great job of holding our bikes in place for the trip, preventing them from moving around a lot. Let's go ahead and show you how it performed on our test course. Up first is gonna be our slalom, which is gonna simulate side to side action, like evasive maneuvering or taking a sharp turn. Now we're onto the solid speed bumps, which is gonna simulate the up and down action, like going over a speed bump or pulling into your driveway. Now with the bikes removed, we can have a closer look at the bike rack. You can see our cradles right here. They're gonna have a really soft plastic construction. There's some good flex to them. You're not gonna have to worry about them making, causing any damage on your bike frames. What's nice is that we have these grooves inside our cradles. This is where your bike cables can sit. They can sit there nicely without the weight of the bike sitting on top of them and make sure that they don't get damaged during travel. Now these straps also are very durable. They got that thick rubber construction so you know it's not going to harm or scratch the finish of your bike frames. One thing I wanna point out is that we just got this out of the box and put it in our hitch. So the straps are a little bit stiff. It takes a little bit to get them on and off of these notches, but that's also a nice peace of mind type thing where I know that this is not going to come off that notch while I'm traveling. But the more you use the bike rack, 
it's going to get broken in and become much easier to use. Now with any hitch mounted accessory, you're gonna have added length to your vehicle. Now in the case of our Hollywood Racks Traveler, we're gonna give you some measurements. First, from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our arms when they're folded up, it's gonna be 37 and a half inches added on. Now when your bike rack is empty, if you don't wanna remove it from your vehicle, you can fold the arms down to conserve on space. What we're gonna do is pull this pin and clip, let the arms fold down, and then replace it. Now there's, just like that, we've taken away a lot of space. If we measure again from the center of the hitchman hole to the outermost point, now it's down to 12 and a half inches. So that's a lot of space we took away. You wanna keep this in mind for any close quarter situations, like maybe parking in your garage. Could mean all the difference in the world with the arms folded down, being able to shut your garage door without having to take your bike rack off. Now I do wanna give you guys another measurement, which is gonna be the closest point right here with this center bar at the bottom from right here to the center of our hitch pin hole is gonna be five and one quarter of an inch. You just wanna keep that in mind for in case your hitch sits very close to your bumper. You wanna make sure you have at least that amount of space to where this little support bar is not gonna make contact with your bumper. Now overall, I really like how nice and simple this bike rack is. It has a really sturdy steel construction with a black powder coat finish, so it's going to be very durable. And that black powder coat finish is going to help it resist rust and corrosion. And overall, it's just going to look very nice as well. Now one thing I do want to point out is that our strap is just hanging here. We went ahead and grabbed our rubber band and wrapped it back up so it can just hang behind our center mast. If this makes you uncomfortable traveling without the strap around your bikes, you could just take it off of the welded tie down point and just stow it in your vehicle. It's just gonna be your personal preference. Now we do have this nice thumb screw back here that's gonna kinda act as an anti-rattle device. You can see right here, we got a lot of movement in our shank right now because the pin is just the only thing holding it in there. So there's gonna be a little bit of movement. To reduce that, we just tighten up that thumb screw and this will help when the bikes are loaded to take away that noise and that rattling. Right here, you can see I'm shaking it really good, but it's not making any noise anymore. Now this bike rack is gonna be for two inch by two inch hitch receivers. If you're looking for one that's going to be for inch and a quarter receivers, there is another version of the Hollywood Racks Traveler where it's the same exact features, except the shank is gonna be for inch and a quarter hitches, and it comes with an adapter to use it for two inch hitches as well. We have an anti-rattle hitch pin that is tightened down. You can see how that takes away the shake and play from our bike rack. See that vehicle and the hitch is moving a lot when I shake it. It's gonna keep that rattling and that noise down to a minimum. And another great thing about this bike rack is it is gonna be motorhome approved. So that just adds to the versatility of it. If you've got a motorhome, you're taking a long road trip, but you wanna haul your bikes along, you have that option with this Hollywood Racks Traveler. Or if you just wanna take a 10 minute trip down the road to go to a bike trail, you can do that as well. Well, thank you all for watching and I hope this information helped you guys out. That'll do it for our look at Hollywood Racks Traveler 4 Bike Rack.